There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, the days in this place you turned into some clock watching God city. Damn it, I don't What's have the my urgency? Tie. We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Tahitians. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come That's on. why I'm not wearing my tie. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. All your don't money make us now, kill don't you. make me ask Mr. twice. Mr. S, leave these take fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Aww. That's your choice, not mine. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on this. Inside. Okay. Fine, it's yours. Towards the challenge, I guess. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Nothing like a hasty, unplanned robbery. Okay. Give me everything you got. Quick. What? Poor lady. Really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here. I don't understand why that affects my honor if no one knows I'm doing it. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. I'm Mr. M. Wait. Open it. I don't oh. think they keep much cash in there. Open it. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Go now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them off, fellas. Arthur Morgan? Why does it say Arthur Morgan? Oh, fuck His milk. Do we run now? Nope, we don't run, we shoot. How did this guy not die? Was a close. They're on the balcony! To my right! 
Oh shit. That was a bad idea. Why are we getting out of here? Shit. Follow Lenny. Alright, Lenny. I'm on you. Wait. Can I get into my satchel? Let's, uh, whoa, oh, shit. Let's get one of these going. And then immediately one of uh, these going. Yes, sir. Get it. Let's go, Dutch. Hold up, hold up. Let's eat some more. I need a minty one. Actually, I didn't need a minty one. I needed the other one. with Dutch just really fucks up my honor. What are you doing? We gotta move. Look a real bang on the head back there. I'm seeing three of everything. You stay down. I'll hold him. Take them out. Look. We ain't done yet. That guy not die. There we go.
Uh, aren't we trying to get there as well? Continued free fire. Here we go. You see any more? Just keep going, kid. Bounty 165. Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. So that means I can do one of these. Just keep going. Alright then. I'm not driving, am I? Okay. I wonder why I got it then identified as Arthur Morgan. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh. <laughs> And a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. What else is new? Aren't you used to it by now? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. Hosea has a lakey this vibe to him, doesn't he? That we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Let me just get on. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. Okay, follow me. Yes, sir. Follow you blindly.
thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given took all the folks young who's Jack. out gunning for us. Sounds you like a all difficult seem to have forgotten for, how for money some is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! Have a nice night. I am Why do you ask me that question? To make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. Say that so now. We're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, oh boy. that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No! He'd say, let's go! I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... Uh, I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. Shut up. I'm behind. Blackwater. Literally. Valentine. Rose. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. I know we will. I feel like Dutch is just kind of on a on a wrecking ball swing. For Here his... we are. Oh. Let me do the talking. Okay. Just on a wrecking ball swing for his uh, means. For some peace that I don't think he's going to get. Thomas. And it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had He's quite cute. the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. 
Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh. Is that what these X's are for? Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Yes, sir. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Oh, my God. The light just turned green. You're already honking at me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Yes, sir. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. What about that trap? The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Uh, what I was going to say was with the path that Dutch. Oh, oh God damn it! It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. Yes, sir. I got a trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. I'm going to start talking, and I'm sure they will start talking immediately after that. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Touch talks about how Micah's loyal to him, but I don't think it's so much that Micah is loyal to him so much as he's just destructive. And Dutch is on a destructive path. As of late. They're sleeping. My god, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. 
I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay. Thought you said to stay on your line. Since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Just go straight over there. I do feel as though if Hosea were the one in charge and making the decisions, Micah would be less loyal. Be Jules. Yeah. Where is the boat? Over there. I will. I... No. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. What's happening? I'm not in control anymore. I was like, whoa, who's that man? Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. We got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Pull, boy. Mm-hmm. Shit. Shit. He won't kid? No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Quick. Quick, Arthur. How do I save this guy? Where are my guns? I'm coming. As fast as I can. He's quite calm for something has got his leg. God damn it. Shit. You go? Mm-hmm. 
coming. I'm coming. I said it first. Hold on. Get this thing off me. Help! Help! Mom! I got you, son. The help. I got you. Whose blood is that? Is that Julian's? Dutch fucking volunteering me for everything. Well, what now? His leg hurt pretty bad. He should be okay. Get in. Which motherfucker's gonna get my medal? Why can't I use both my pistols? Shit. Uh, let's do this one. Come on, shoot it. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. How about now? Can I use this? How come I can't fucking paint him? Do I have to wait for him to stick up like that? Eh. I had my shotgun. You're gonna be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. 
Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. Well.